Welcome to live trade videos. So in this video, we are going to look at how to set a take profit and a stop loss on a trade. How to set a take profit and a stop loss on a trade. Now, unlike the laptop, um, where you could easily pull from the entry, for instance, the way I have on this my entry cell on 0.1, I could easily pull it up for the stop loss and pull down for the take profit. In this case, I cannot do that. I need to go to the running trade that is for an active trade if you have an active trade trade is already running for it to set a take profit and a stop loss on it first of all you need the parameters so we need to either write down for instance if you were given the parameters let's say you were it were, let's say you were sent hints all you need to do is just note down the hints now in this case i'm going to generate my own hints i'll just put stop loss at 0.974 three three and take profit at zero point nine six eight eight three so all i need to do now is to go to the running trade then modify it for you to modify all you need to do is you can swipe to the left hand side swipe to your left hand side then you see this pencil icon or you can press and hold the trade just press and hold the trade and you see the option to modify now this is applicable on both ios and iphone so just modify then at the point of stop loss you can now edit and type in the stop loss value you want so 0 0.97433 that's this, this red line the left hand side this one that has this red line under it that's the stop loss point then the take profit point would be 0 0.96885 so once I do this now and I modify, voila, it's done. So if I come to my running trade now, I can see it. I can see the trades running and I can see the stop loss and take profit points. See SL and TP. So that's how to do it for a running trade. For a new trade, uh, be it pending order or an instant market execution, you could just easily do this. Let me still work with Euro USD. You could just easily do this. Click on this and uh, when you try to place the trade. Um, so now you see you have the option of market execution. So if you're executing at the current market price, all you need to do is have your stop loss and take profit points. So depending on what you've worked out. Now this video focuses on how to place it. It doesn't really talk about um, how to generate your stop loss and take profit point that would be a strategy session so you can just have your stop loss point let's say i was still using the same values i have as stop loss and take profit once i come to new order at the point of stop loss i put in my stop loss which was 0 0.97435 0 0.97435 and my take profits as 0. 96885. Now, this would be applicable only for a sell because on a sell trade, the stop loss is going to be above the market price. For a sell trade, the stop loss is going to be above your sell entry here. So, if this were my sell, sell trade here now, let me just mark this out. If this line, if this black line were to be my sell trade, my stop loss when placing the trade must be above it. It must be above it. So I'm going to add in a new line so I see it. This is the only way the stop loss would play out. My stop loss must be above the um, my entry sell because it is a sell trade. Now, in the sell trade, you expect that the market moves downward in profit. But the moment it is going up, the, mo the moment the market price is going up, you know you are entering a loss. That's why the stop loss is above the entry sell. And the take profit point is below the entry sell. Take, pro take profit is going to be below the entry sell. So, this is going to be my take profit point down here, somewhere down here. So I can work with this now. So if my entry cell is 0 0.9882, 
my take profit point is going to be 0 0.9716 and my stop loss is going to be 0 0.9905. So all I need to do now is just write it out somewhere and 0 0.9882. 8882 and 0 0.98716. Now, this is in the case of a pending order. This is applicable in the case of a pending order. In the case of market execution, it is going to be something like this. This is this black line is my entry cell because I'm entering exactly where the market is. I cannot get it accurately because the market keeps moving. But my stop loss is going to be above that black line, which is my entry cell. And my take profit is going to be below the black line so in this case now my stop loss my new stop loss is going to be at 0 0.97209 and my take profit at 0 0.96825 so all i need to do now is come to new order enter my stop loss point 0 0.97209 0 0.97209 and take profit point at 0 0.96825 so the moment i place sell what what will happen sell it will place and it will place at those lines you can see it it will place at those lines once i move this um red line up now watch i don't know why the line is not moving let me edit it So you would see now, you see how the this thing is, zero point, you see everything is already set there. Once I come to this point here, I can see the trade I just placed with my stop loss at 0 0.97209 and take profit at 0 0.96825. Now in the case of a buy trade, in the case of you entering a buy trade, it is the opposite direction in the sense that your, your buy entry, let me pick out the buy entry which is this black line. I'm going to make it black. So that it is, so that it's the same way the um, cell. So in this case now, let's say this way, it buy stop. My black line is here as my entry buy. Then your take profit is always going to be above the buy entry because on a buy trade, you expect that the price goes upwards. So you expect that you're taking profit upwards. You're following the price from your entry buy and going upward. So that's the point of take profit. Then your stop loss is going to be below the market price. Below the market price at this point. Below the buy entry rather. So this is the stop loss now and the take profit so you see how they play out is the opposite of a sell trade in a sell trade this the take profit is going to be the take profit would be below the price below the entry sell and stop loss above the entry sell but in a buy trade it is the reverse the take profit is above the buy trade and stop loss below the sell trade. Now, how do you do this? If you wanted to place a trade now, um, let's say you enter a place in market execution trade at exactly this point. That is the um, buy entry. That black line is the buy entry. Then the green line is my take profit because it's above. In fact, I can even leave it up here. I can leave the green line up here. And the red line is stop loss below the entry buy. So all I need to do is mark it out. So you can just write down 0 0.98961 as take profit and 0 0.96699 as stop loss. All you need to do now is come to new order. Since I'm placing it by, put the stop loss 0 0.98967. As the stop loss, no, that's the take profit. 
stop loss is 0 0.96699 stop loss then take profit is 0 0.98967 and once i click on buy it places instantly it has placed the trade instantly and you see the look at the trade here look at the running trade here you can see it here so the buy trade now is active stop loss is at 0 0.96 no, this is sell. This is the buy trade here. Stop loss is at 0 0.96699 and take profit at 0 0.9897. So that's how to place it a stop loss and a take profit, especially on instant execution. For pending order, it's the same thing that still applies, especially with buy stop and sell stop or buy limit and sell limit. As far as it's the buy trade, the take profit is going to be above and the stop loss is going to be below. In the sell trade, the opposite is the case. In a sell trade, the take profit is going to be below the entry sell, which is the black line, and the stop loss above the entry sell. Let me give you a quick example. For instance, you wanted to place a pending order, a buy stop on Euro USD, and the price is currently at 9703 something. So for a buy stop now, all you need to it's going to be obviously above the market price. So it can, it could be at let me just add here. You see this black line? It's showing me where the buy stop is. That's the buy stop line. That's the buy stop line. Then for my stop loss, this is a buy trade. Stop loss is obviously going to be below the buy trade. You'll be able to see it from here. Once you're clicking on this minus now, you can see the stop loss. You can see how it's playing here. You can increase it to come closer to price. Then take profit as well is going to be above. So you have to pull the take profit up. If I place it, it cannot even place like this because the take profit is still below the buy trade. But as I add in, once I click on add, as it comes above, it becomes placeable for a buy trade. You understand? For a buy stop, it becomes something that can work. And I can place it now. And it is done. Uh, but most times, most times, most people have their orders written down. So if you have your orders written down, maybe sent to you as a hint. All you need to do is just click here, whether it's pending order, whether it's buy stop, sell stop, buy limit, sell limit, sell stop. Put in the price you want to place your sell stop at, then put in the stop loss you want to work with and the take profit you want to work with and you will be good to go. Thank you. And remember to subscribe to this channel. Check out other videos as well. There's what they call a break even. You should also note how to do that. Huh?